This is absolutely Essendon, our Hot or Not series. Today's player in the spotlight is one Kyle Langford. Great choice. King Kyle of Langford. I was hoping he would come Were up. Were you? I yeah. I, I, you know, we, we, we couldn't wait anymore. It was time to uh, yeah. to have a look at the uh, Well, at it's the great only man's the work. third one. I mean, it's not like we've had to wait long. Yeah, but, but still, uh, you know, anyway. yeah, we've all got our favourites. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, at Carr, at, uh, at King Kyle, his place in the team. Yeah. His contributions. And then we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and give him a score at the uh, at the end. And as always, we'd love your comments on uh, on where he sits Excellent and uh, and uh, and his value to our team. Because it's really this hot or not is all about our community. Yes. And uh, what a community it is! It's yes. Growing faster than the birth rate in Bangladesh at the moment. <laughs> and uh, but thank you for all the comments to the and first. They team. are loving hot or not. Well, uh, uh, it's. I, I think uh, when we popped up the. Archie Perkins one, I think they thought we were talking about his appearance because mm. he was most definitely getting a lot of hot mark remarks. But, yes. uh, yeah. but tonight's about Kyle. Can I just Do say you... King Kyle of Langfordia right. is imperious in many, many ways, but never more so than when he is floating out from the forward mm. uh, goal square, mm. taking that mark in his stride, turning Majestic. around. Majestic. It is. He floats across the surface of the ground and he has been... If Majestic is the word. Yes. Okay, Fantastic. So Let's go. Can smoke you, and joke. No, you whip me through the stats. You're the stats man. Well, in this I, I am. So uh, could you please... Uh, off whip, the top whip, of my head. Whip me through his numbers. So Kyle is, yes. is following up from a fantastic season last year where he kicked 51 goals. Mm. He's already averaging 2.7 goals. I think he's up to 24 after nine. Mm. So he's well on his way to hitting that 50 mark again. He's averaging 11.9 disposals, which is for a full forward position is pretty good. It's above average by AFL standards. Mm. Uh, kicks is 8.2 a game. Uh, his goal accuracy is 60%, which is pretty good. He tends to kick them from some nasty angles. He, he does. Against uh, the Giants on the weekend, he kicked that incredible sort of banana goal, whatever you call it, yeah. from the 50-metre mark. Yes. Um, marking is yeah. 4.8 per game, which is uh, just a you know around average for, the, for, for that type of position in the competition, and right. 2.4 tackles a game, which hey. is not bad for yes. a forward. He, he's, he's active. A, yeah, he's, he's generally across the board, he's just hitting some heights that, you know, for the first probably eight years of the, his career, he was just not getting to. So it's, he's been a remarkable kind of emergence over the last two years and continuing his fantastic form. Yes. And, and helping us when we need it. Definitely. Last year, he was a revelation. Yeah. Came along and definitely uh, definitely helped us, um, provided just that uh, that point of, uh, of focus down in the, um, down in the forward line. Um, but then... It's not necessarily easy then come along the next season and follow up with that because mm. now you're carrying the burden of expectation. But that has it just doesn't seem to be an issue with no, this guy. He's, he's very yo confident. He's Yoder esque yeah. as we've uh, as we've said. Very he calm. Just, um, yeah, I, I love that. Uh, I love that about him. In fact, what I love most is you watch other forwards and whenever they kick a goal, they just start barking instructions, doing a lot of pointing. Mm. Yeah, you, you. Yeah, you do. Like all, they're just pumped. He just grabs that bottle, has a little sip. Hey, gives him a little wink. Says, "I'll just keep doing what I'm doing." Yeah, yeah. There's there's no flies on him at all. Uh, and, and I was sort of thinking, you know, he he's become that player that can help us turn the switch on. Mm. You know, when you really, yeah, you know, things might be a little tough. But you're in a in a hard fought contest. He has that ability to just make something happen, mm. whether it be a great mark or kicking a clutch goal. Yeah. Uh, you know, those sort of players that can just stand up when you really need them to stand up. Kyle has become that player for us. And and given that Peter Wright's form's been a bit patchy, you know, we've missed him for a few weeks with suspension throughout this season. Yeah. Uh, Jonesy's been doing a great job as a sort of a decoy type forward. So we, we've needed Kyle and I think he's three or four goals, two to three or four goals a game. You know, he, he never lets us down and, and I think he's just continuing on this rich uh, vein of form that he discovered last year so yeah no very very much like the game that uh we're recording this on the weekend against gws i mean we were struggling in the first half big time 
he kept us in that game yeah. and uh, managed scoring four goals with a couple of goal assists as well. Yeah. So valuable. So Kyle Langford uh, is a 27-year-old. He is... Uh, what sort of contract is a he? A 192 on? centimetre. He's not a big, tall forward, but he's certainly providing us with that. And we've got him, you know, at the peak of his form. So, you know, as the Bombers continue to grow as a team... You know, he's going to continue to be that very vital forward player for us in a part of the senior group. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to put a score out for his oh, season so far. Are we not talking about his contract? Well, I don't is, know is what he, his contract is. He, is. is. He, uh, he, he won't be leaving like the Bombers, that's for sure. Oh, God, I yeah. hope no, not. No, he, he's a Surely Bomber for not. life. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give Kyle a 7.5 Pushing up towards an eight after nine games, 7.5. You know I'm going to keep it pretty conservative because we can't be throwing nines and tens out willy-nilly. You've got to really earn that. But I think a 7.5 is a really good score. And um, I think Kyle well deserves that. What do you think? I think I think you need to, you know, you're being incredibly judicious in your scoring. That's what I'll say. So? I'm giving him, yes, I'm giving him an 8.5. Totally wow. deserved. And I've got to hold myself back from giving him a no, nine. That's okay. I mean, it's your, right. your call. That's a fair comment. I, look, you know, my view is, as I said, I mean, 7.5 pushing up. Pushing up could be could be an eight. Look, it could be an eight. In but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it in the comments. Yeah, it's going to be nothing but eights. Yeah, I mean we possibly, agreed on both scores. Possibly some yeah, with Stringer and, and Perkins. So. And most most uh, agreed with us. Yeah, yeah some probably um, felt Stringer deserved a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, it'll be again. We'll be fascinated to see what everyone uh, yeah. thinks about. Uh, uh, I'm King, expecting. King I'm Kyle expecting a high yeah. scores either way. Uh, and and might I add. Yes we're, yes, we're going to try and classify or characterise him around a, a figure from literature. Were we going to do well, that? Well, yeah. Well, I, I, I can't yeah, remember. I, think, I, think I we, thought we were going to do well, that. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> I, yeah, I suggested, you know, we should equate the players to either uh, either superheroes, movie characters, yes, or you want to go literature, you want to go fantasy Just to help literature. people who probably can't come up with that type of equation. Is that, mm. why, is that why we're doing it? Yes. I, I have nothing to say. Look, if I was to sort of select a, a figure from literature or even movies for some people would be probably Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings again, yeah, folks. I think there so, and I'm sure you guys well, will agree. he was the cool cat from that uh, from that movie. He Very was chilled. Cool he was. Very chilled. Just got on with the job. Yeah. Had to take out some people. He was the man. That's the guy you go to. just him, his sword, his horse. That's yeah. all he needed. Yeah. So, yes... King Kyle, I, think I would so. say he is that. Aragon. That's all he needs. Just leave it to me. I'll take. You'll get the job. I'll done. take care of business. So that's Kyle Langford. Uh, right. That's our quick wrap up. What do you think? Please comment. Uh, you know, it's really interesting to get your thoughts and give yes. us a score too. Out of ten, ten being the best, six yes. being average, and uh, two being bloody awful. Yes. And I'm sure Kyle will not be in that in that range. He better so, not be, unless we've missed something. Having so said please, that. Thank Drop you for it. watching, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll be back with another Hot or Not very, Coming very soon. Coming up soon.